those, you know, cryptic hints, you got them down well enough. Good job, boy. I wouldn't really say they're cryptic. Oh, you remember it after a week. That's much better than most Let's Plays. Yeah. 800 has been charged to the account to renew the membership to Shining Fingered. Subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. Happy not birthday. Let's take Jeez. a look. Oh boy. Uh, we've I already read that one. Thread. Yeah. It's officially happening. What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was a leaks. I think Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks. Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There no there's nothing they can't do. What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice but just an epic prank? I would hack- who would hack a site for this just for a prank? N not me. You're right, though. It might be someone else. We'll have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th. Right, if only there were... If only we knew more about the target now. Sick memes, sis. These Alice threads piss me off, fucking e -celebs. What if it has something to do with the terrorism rumors? Hmm. Kinda boring. Uh, we'll read from the bottom up this time. Why can't we have our... Time is up 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous gangs, and there's no solution in sight. This Mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> Alice Rabbit might be a Kira Miki fan, and... <laughs> Everyone loves Kira Miki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering, what's my proof for this not-so-wacky theory, and well, I'll keep reading if you want to know. This is an easy one, if you... I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Kim got an interview with Kiramichi? Question mark. Today we'll look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on the augmented eye. It's a local page for fuck's sake. Well, that's funny. Oh. What? Pretty short day at Joe's apartment, don't you think? Yeah. Let's take a look at something. Yeah, see what else. You want to get a... A Kiramiki poster? Tear one off at any wall in the vicinity, but hell knows what germs they have. Hmm. Get a banner of Kiramiki too. Oh my god. Oh wait, we. Hmm. Yeah? Well, if we ever see Kiramiki again, I know what we need to get her. The yeah, I tried I tried team. signaling that to you when we were first serving, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to bat seed, so mm. I just left it as is. That's okay. It's a learning experience. You can't yeah. expect me to get everything right on the first time. And like I said, like I I wasn't I I kept my hands off with Stella's hints, so you figured that out on your own, and the only thing I said was just, yeah, do you remember what we bought last time? Mm -hmm. Didn't mind it, but you still got it right enough, because we didn't get a... We still got no mistakes, so happy yeah. enough. We'll get the beer on discount. Sure. <laughs> More for our collection! <laughs> and... 
That is an expensive tree. It's a mega Christmas tree, Ayn. Do you not celebrate mega Christmas? Mega Christmas? No. <laughs> Boo hoo. We'll, we'll, what a, we'll get what the a party pooper. We'll get the Kira Miki poster and then. Ah, oh, look! It's, it, look, look! We have the beer collection at the bottom left and the Mickey poster, yeah, on the right. <laughs> That's nice. really cute. And there's the hollow plant. Yeah, from last time. Mm hmm. All right, you I'm gonna this? go ahead and save, and then uh, we one will more day? go on. Yeah, we'll go until we'll, we'll go until one more day. Yeah, full full day. Let's do it. Alrighty. This will be good content. Friday, December sixteenth. Good evening. Hello. The fuck was that? Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. I wasn't sure if that was something I was on your end or No, what the that fuck? that is the game. Oh my god. You got scared there, Ein. Oh little bit doodle I scared. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? It sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know. It's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yep. A couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual Mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. <laughs> At least not amongst yourselves. Right. We shouldn't lose time over our car's exhaust. Hey. <laughs> it really did get you, <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. I had said <laughs> Yes, it did get me. <sighs> I mean, have you ever gone to many gun shows or anything like that before, Ayn? Not really, no. Really? I've- 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 I've only actually- I've only used a legitimate firearm twice. Uh, well, can I ask then, as you pitch out the songs? A, uh, 1911 custom fitted for 22 long rifle and a 9. Hmm, and where at? Was it a range or something? Uh, uh, you could say that. You can say that. I mean, <laughs> is, is this something that I'm not on a need to know basis, or is it just you don't know? Or remember? Uh, it was just an open field. Fair enough. I remember the first thing I ever did was Boy Scouts. I went to a Civil War reenactment, and that was the first time I got to see I just had guns in action. I've gone skeet shooting before. I haven't gone to a proper range in forever. The most I've shot was a Sig. Hmm. But yeah, that's really just my own my own expense. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Why does this dude look like a fucking... Uh, he... Uh, he looks like someone. I got this. Uh, have you ever watched the hit uh, hit old detective show, Columbo? Oh no. <laughs> Don't tell me I gotta do like a Columbo impersonation. Ah, uh, if you want. Yeah, one more thing, Miss Jill. <laughs> that autograph last Have you, have you heard there. of something called... <laughs> <laughs> Alice Rabbit. <laughs> Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl named Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? No, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. Uh... Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? 
Yeah. Now, I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all. Nothing. Man, you're su you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <sighs> First of all, well, I assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need. Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Holy shit, inflation has gone up. Also, Joyce is right into this nothing. poor man. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's... Me and her coincide with this. It's like, $80? This, nah, nah, The day nah. just started! She's right into this man! <laughs> Eighty dollars is nothing. You gotta up those stakes if you want if you want my services. <laughs> I need I need to like drop the facade and all this. It's like, why are you scolding me? <laughs> <laughs> why did you call me that sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I wait. Of course, you want all the deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. <laughs> Yo, I just fucking mm -hmm. ace the turdy Jared mm -hmm. through that other breakdown. It's just, it's just <laughs> you actually just broke it and you're done. Okay then, get me a drink, but keep it under eighty dollars. Uh, eighty dollars. Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. Oh wait, one more thing. <laughs> Two fifty, two hundred, two hundred, two thirty, one seventy, two fifty, two eighty. Yeah, I nicely see why I pesty you about your tab. <laughs> no comment. Sorry, I'm too busy making drinks and changing lives. I, I, real, real, real quick before you serve, doubling the drink doubles the price. You know, just serving a big version. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so, uh, don't double it. Oh, you're just gonna get him drunk, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> uh, poor Comet Train seems pretty good. <laughs> you're the bartender. All aged and mixed. Here. Okay, then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said, maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it means maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? <laughs> You're so pitiful! <laughs> Why? The order is right, isn't it? I guess. So why are you looking into... Why are you looking for that girl, Mr... Von Delay. Art Von Delay. I'm a pri I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So I assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of the so-called Reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to... to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. 
why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local goings-ons. Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it! What kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. And I certainly don't. I, I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get him Oh yeah, him. Gil, one more thing. <laughs> well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know. I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. Alright, let's give him a grizzly temple. Enjoying your solo episode, Ayn? Uh, God, it is truly the solo episode. This is literally just me talking to myself. Yeah, yeah, I mean... To be fair, I was juggling Stella, Say, and Dorothy yeah. all together last time around. You, you, like, Jill literally only had her thoughts to herself in between then. So, fair yep. enough. Here. Okay, then. This is going to be deducted from the $80 from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something! This week has been slow as hell! The only good thing I've heard about is this girl who threw herself off the roof on the nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that harbingers that are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it! Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name the harbingers wasn't used. No glitch city outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet, for some reason. So you're either one of them, or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Just like his receding hairline. <laughs> oh, gee, Joe, you're still roasting him! The day just started! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that idol signed. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Guess he needs to clean his glasses. Oh, Mr. Did he talk about Mr. anything Mr. Uh, Mr. Von Dole, hey, one more thing. <laughs> Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple days ago, dealing with messy interns... Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's... Gunshot! It's a backfire! Firecrackers! <laughs> hey, what do you think that sound just now was? It sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close! It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made that sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there was some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means... GUNSHOTS! If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've gotta go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really. I just have different needs, but there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please, come again. And we'll wear a wig next time. Gangs, then? 
Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs' deals. The who what now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Well, cut. Oh no! Oh no, not her. I'm Streaming Chan, giving you a live feed of my life and adventure is 24-7! <laughs>